Welcome back. Today I'm checking out Clear Linux. Clear Linux is one of those distributions that uh, has been kind of ticking away in the background and I've only become aware of it probably in the last four months or so. And this is a really interesting project. And while I'm not going to be giving it a full review treatment because I feel like it's too early in its life cycle to do that, I really do want to talk about what this distribution is, what it means for the Linux world and kind of where it sits in amongst uh, the climate of the Linux desktop open source world at the moment and, uh, and what it could mean for the future of Linux on the desktop. So let's jump into it. Clear Linux, what's it got for us? Okay, so first up, just want to appreciate the fact that it's pouring down rain right now. And uh, so if there's a bit of hiss and nonsense coming through the mic, then uh, that's probably what it is. Okay. Clear Linux is a fascinating project. So Clear Linux is something that uh, is launched and, and backed and developed by Intel. A lot, of the, uh, a lot of the Linux kernel and a lot of other bits and pieces, Intel has very heavy investment in being able to back and support Linux projects. And Clear Linux is I think the most visible representation of that. It has a really, really clear direction about where it wants to go with its project. And, uh, and over time, it's slowly been scaling up what it's capable of. Now, I'm going to try to drill into what makes this distribution unique and where it sits at the moment with all of the recent news that, uh, you know, Linux Mint team seems to be losing steam and, and, uh, and Tergos just shut down and Ubuntu seems to be kind of losing a bit of momentum. This could be a very big deal in the next couple of years. But before we go any further, I wanted to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. For those who are unfamiliar, Skillshare is an online learning community of more than 25,000 classes in uh, graphic design, business, animation, web development, video production, you name it, there's probably a class on it. So whatever you wanna sharpen your skills in in 2019, then Skillshare is gonna be the site to help you out. Uh, two things that I wanna recommend if you're watching my video today, uh, there is a Learn JavaScript Get High, the full boot camp. Uh, this class, uh, for me, this is probably where I would be starting because I know very little about JavaScript and what it's capable of as a programming language and framework and also the Productivity Masterclass by Thomas Frank. I've been watching Thomas Frank on YouTube for quite some time and he has a Productivity Masterclass which helps you figure out your own system for productivity and building it out so that it works for you. And honestly, with juggling this channel, two part-time jobs, being a dad, the tips that I've picked up from this course and courses like it have been very, very helpful. So Skillshare Premium is really affordable. It's about 10 bucks a month for an annual subscription. And the first 500 subscribers, which click on the link in the first line of the description below, uh, will get two months of Skillshare for free. So once again, check out the link in the description and the first line of the comments below, and I can almost guarantee that you will find a course that appeals to you. Special thanks to Skillshare once again for sponsoring today's episode. All right, so what does Clear Linux do differently? I would say that the main advantage that Clear Linux has over most other Linux distributions is the fact that it is optimized for Intel hardware. That's not really hard to get your head around, but um, first of all, I'm gonna chuck a link in the description for a uh, podcast from the folks over at Jupiter Broadcasting that did an episode on Clear Linux uh, very recently, as a matter of fact, because they kind of go into the nitty gritty, which I probably won't do as much. But the main hallmarks of what make Clear Linux unique is the fact that it is a, uh, first of all, it's obviously highly optimized for Intel. It's very close to the upstream because of the fact of how much development goes into the Linux kernel from the Intel team to begin with. Um, they are slowly building out how many packages they have available uh, and they're looking to double the 4,000 complete packages that they already have uh, over the next year or so. And also it's completely stateless. So very similar to Solus, um, the, the idea of a stateless operating system is that the, uh, the layers of the user, the user data and the system configuration are very separate. They're not interlinked or messed up in any way. And honestly, I've got to say one of the other strengths that Clear Linux has going for it very close uh, to the start of its project life is that it's got a very clear 
um, explanation as to what it's trying to achieve. It has some really simple product videos that um, kind of give the, give the user a bit of an idea about what they're on about, highlighting things like updates that will only download the bits uh, that have changed as opposed to downloading huge software updates each and every time. And here you can kind of see they've sorted out uh, or they've tried to explain how a stateless system works. So you have the three different levels of the user data, the operating system, and the system configuration, just so that you don't, uh, you d it's a lot harder to mess something up uh, irrevocably on your system. Okay, so Clear Linux uh, is, if it's not clear by now, is its own custom distribution. It uses its own package manager, it uses its own uh, core, and the reason that I'm even talking about this distribution to begin with is the fact that I believe that this is a very, very likely and possible alternative to Windows 10 as an OEM installed system. Bear with me here. Uh, and this is where I'm going to jump into fantasy land a little bit. Um, so as tech companies seem to get uh, more and more distinguished and they try to produce more and more of their stuff in house. Intel obviously has a deep investment in Linux and open source tech. And the fact that they've built their own Linux distribution is proof of that. They are definitely chasing their own goals with it, but this is not that dissimilar to what we're seeing with, let's say Apple and Mac OS, for example. Mac OS is its own thing, but I can bet you in a very short space of time, um, Apple is gonna be very, there's a lot that Apple stands to gain by developing their own chips for the laptops that they sell and being able to optimize the software that they make to the hardware that they make. This is where Apple's always succeeded and this is probably where they will again. Now, the interesting thing is, is that that writes Intel processors out of a lot of their laptop lineup. Now, of course, there's rumors bouncing around and there's been rumors bouncing around about that for ages and it's we're probably still a little ways off yet, but the future could very well look like uh, an Apple without Intel processors. Now, what does that have to do with clear Linux? Well, Windows 10 as an operating system, as a basis for getting stuff done is becoming less and less relevant as time goes on. As more and more technologies move to the web, uh, the, the bloated uh, legacy craft that is still embedded within Windows 10 just becomes more and more of a, of a liability really. And that's why the, that's why cloud computing platforms are turning to Linux as the go-to operating system to run all of their infrastructure on because it's so much more optimizable, it's so much more customizable. And so that's what Clear Linux is wanting to tap into at the present time. But I believe there will come a day and probably f a lot closer than we all think where Clear Linux would actually be uh, user-friendly enough and have enough hardware support and enough software support that they could actually run and install this thing on uh, on OEM hardware with some of their hardware partners, Dell, HP, Lenovo. And they'd be able to offer Clear Linux as a out-of-the-box solution for those who don't want Windows. If you look at the developments happening around Steam and gaming and some of the excellent driver work that's being done by both AMD and Nvidia nowadays towards supporting Linux and with most of what users want being based in the web anyway, I can definitely see something uh, a, like a professionally backed Linux distribution with excellent support, excellent uh, documentation like Clear Linux already has for a very recent project. I can see it really doing well. Not to mention the fact that, not to mention the fact that Ubuntu uh, has sort of kind of wet, uh, faded into the background and a lot of the community-based distributions have slowed down considerably in the last year or so. I, I really feel like Linux might need a new flagship and I feel like in a very short space of time, Clear Linux could become that next flagship. They're building a really rock solid base and they are focusing on the features that make Clear Linux different at this point, and then they'll slowly build back in the features that, uh, that I guess end users wanna see in a desktop Linux distribution. Now, what I wanna to point to straight away is the fact that, uh, that Intel graphics cards, dedicated graphics cards are coming. And you can imagine the uh, mad optimization advantages that uh, an OS like Clear Linux will give 
you if you are running mostly Intel based hardware, because trust me, the uh, the overall overwhelming feedback about this OS as a whole as to why you should even bother considering it in the first place is that it is ridiculously fast. Like it feels so much faster than every other Linux OS out there right now. And the reason being because Intel have immense resources that they can throw at optimizing this OS for the hardware that they make. Now, seeing as most of the computing world runs on Intel processors at the moment, you can kind of see why. So where do we stand at the moment? Well, basically Clear Linux at this point is still very much in development. But when I say it's in development, it is in rapid development. Unlike a lot of open source operating systems that are just developed in people's spare time, this is actually a bit of a priority for Intel, or at least so it seems. The uh, the regularity that this rolling release is being updated, that documentation is being updated, that tutorials are being published, that uh, new, op um, new software is being uh, published to the repositories points to the fact that this project is wanting to move quick in the space of uh, a month or two we went from having no graphical um, installer to having a relatively simple I'll, I'll say but still a graphical installer just in the last couple months at the moment my first impressions about this distribution are don't go and download this and expect to run it as your desktop operating system at this point uh, because it's really not ready for that I would say come back, loop around in about a year and this thing will be crushing some major competition. Uh, if you ever spend any amount of time on Pharonix, you'll notice that Clear Linux smashes pretty much every single benchmark that they uh, throw at it compared to every other operating system out there. This has some exciting implications for any, any hardware that runs on any Intel uh, products, but it also spells a lot of amazing developments for the open source community in general as, a, as a, a company as big as Intel is heavily invested in backing uh, Linux and the open source world in its development. Because ultimately any contribution to the kernel, uh, and especially at this sort of pace, is going to be good for the ecosystem as a whole. But I guess the golden question that I want to pass off to you guys, and and honestly, this is where, this is where I'll leave the video here for today. As we've seen, um, Ubuntu is, uh, commercially viable in, in a lot of ways, um, but it, it definitely has been perceived by the community as the desktop being less and less of a priority. And, you know, there's been rumors of it being sold or, or something like that happening. And as time has gone on, it's definitely kind of lost its, uh, its sheen, or at least lost the mind share of a lot of uh, Linux users. So my question is, is a project like Clear Linux, would this be potentially the fully backed commercial uh, alternative? OEM native installs, uh, a presence out there in the world in terms of compatibility. Would it be the alternative to Mac OS and to Windows? Something that's highly optimized, backed by a big company. And is this what the open source community needs? I don't know, because there's obviously pros and cons to that. Let me know in the comments below, what are the pros and cons of having such a large commercially backed open source operating system out there in the wild? I'm excited by it just because of where we're sitting in the ecosystem right now. I think it's a good thing, but I'm always curious to hear your thoughts. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, come back again next week and uh, we'll have something else to ch chat about. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.